But for blocking, this one just feels so nice. So here's the settings I use. You do not want that because your audio will be destroyed. Good morning, guys. Today is a special day because I bought a camera. Well, I have to pick it up after work. It is so freaking hard to find a camera right now. I have my G7X as my vlog camera. My M50 is just a little bit too big for me to take places and feel comfortable. I feel uncomfortable with the G7X sometimes. I would buy another G7X. I love this thing. It's a great little camera. And I love how portable it is and how you can just point and shoot. I love this thing. But the problem is you can't freaking find one right now because of TikTok and everybody's buying them because they're realizing how good the pictures are on this. Like if you use flash. But you literally cannot find any point and shoot digital camera right now because of TikTok. It's insane and if you find them they're on eBay in crappy condition for outrageous amounts. So I'm going with this camera. It's a little bit bigger than my G7X. It was on sale for $100 off for the whole kit. I will talk to you guys when I'm on the way to get the camera and when we pick it up. I just got done at work so we are going to get my camera. I'm so excited. I love this G7X, but I'm hoping I like the other one even more. But yeah, let's go get my camera. Okay, this G7X is messing up more than I thought it was. The zoom thing, like if I try to zoom, it literally sounds like there's sand under there and it like grinds. I need to see if I can clean that somehow. And I was trying to press the record button on the back and it literally would not record so I had to turn it off and back on like it got stuck and it wouldn't do anything. I don't know why it's doing that, but let's go in and get my other camera. Bag secured. Eee! Now let's go home and unbox this. Eee! I got the Canon M200 in this content creator kit. I don't think they make the camera by itself anymore. And this was the last one at Target. Let's unbox. This I think comes with an SD card and a tripod. So first thing we have this tripod. I think this will be neat. It has the wireless Bluetooth remote. So I can like start and stop video with the tripod or I can hold the remote in my hand if I need to take self-timed photos or something. So that'll be neat. I wouldn't have got this content creator box, but I don't think you can buy the camera by itself anymore. This is the only one anywhere near me that I found and it was $100 off right now so I got all of this for $550 which I think is normally what just the camera is so that's why I got the content creator kit do I need a 32 gigabyte memory card no not really do I need a tripod no not really but it is nice to have came with a 32 gigabyte SD card we have our manual in here okay we're gonna try to work with this lighting I'm doing the best vlog I've got because the time of day the sun is setting and it's just questionable right now. The last thing in here is the camera. Let's get her open. This is so exciting. Get unboxing this thing. This is so exciting. So we have our papers, manuals, register your camera and stuff. What is this? Okay, I don't know what that is. Another paper. Here's inside the box. Let's see what we've got. We have a neck strap. That's nice. I always keep mine on my M50. We have a battery, and I think this is the same battery that's in my M50. A charger, same one as my M50. We have the lens and then the camera left. So I think this is just the kit lens, which I keep one on my M50. I think it comes with all the Canon M series cameras. ASMR. I almost don't want to open it because I want to just keep it pristine. I'm like kind of OCD with all my camera equipment. Like I don't want it torn up. <sighs> okay, so yeah, that's just the 15 to 45 millimeter kit lens. This is actually a really good lens and you can film some amazing videos with this. This has image stabilization, so it's pretty good for vlogging and it gets a pretty good field of view even with your arm not fully extended. I also have a 11 to 22 millimeter vlogging lens. That's like a really wide view, but that one is a little bit heavier. This lens does not weigh much, but it is kind of bulky. I'm hoping the camera's not too, too bulky. Let's get the camera out, I'm so excited. And again, I could vlog with my M50. I love my M50, but it is a little big. Here's it right now. 
It just has this on the top, which I love this for taking photos, the optical viewfinder. And this is the kit lens on my M50 right now that I've been using. But yeah, it's just a little bit big. We're gonna see how the M200 compares to that. I'm hoping it's like a little bit. And of course the lighting is awful. Oh, she's a lot lighter. This is so much slimmer. I wish it was just a point and shoot like this. Like I wish it was just this big and I didn't have to attach the lens. I do have the 22 millimeter lens, let me grab it. And I may try to use this because this is quite a bit smaller than this kit lens that it comes with. Like but it doesn't zoom or anything. And I don't think it has image stabilization and it's not that big of a field of view for vlogging. So I don't know how to work, but I might try it out or at least like take it somewhere. Okay, let's get this kit lens on here and try it out and see what the quality is looking like. I'm so excited, oh my gosh. I'm afraid I'm gonna get dust on it. We unscrew this. We have our little sensor there. Thread these through here. And you hear a little click. Okay, that's really, that is really light. The only thing about this camera, it does not have a mic jack, but honestly, all my Canon cameras, the in-body sound sounds amazing. And I don't use a mic half the time on my M50. If I'm vlogging, I want something discreet because I'm awkward enough in public already. I don't want a big camera on top of here. And for my sit down videos, I do have my M50, but we're gonna see how this one sounds and stuff too. It's lighter than my M50. It's easier to hold for vlogging and the screen flips up instead of out. I don't mind the flip out screen for my sit down videos, but for vlogging, I guess I'm so used to my G7X, like the flip up screen. It's so much more comfortable to me. The camera feels so much more like balanced and centered. Whereas this one, I feel like I'm looking over here quite a bit and it's like kind of off center when it's on a tripod. I know that's just like little measly things, but for vlogging, this one just feels so nice. Let's go ahead and get the battery in and get it turned on and see what the quality is looking like compared to my G7X. Okay, so battery slots here on the bottom. I'm hoping that it's out of the way of a tripod, but I don't think it will be. My M50, the battery slot is way over here and the tripod's over here. So if I have my handheld tripod, I can still change the battery without having to take the tripod off. That's just something like simple. It is convenient on the M50. And the memory card slot is over here. How the heck do I get that open though? Do I mash that? What the crap? Oh. I don't know if you can see this, but this is not a button. It looks like a button. You pull from back here and it just pops open. That's kind of odd, but okay. So we have three options up here, a lot less than on my M50. We have video, manual, and auto mode. So I'm gonna turn it to video and we're gonna turn it on. Okay, let me set the date and time. Okay, I got it set up. Let's hold the switch. Okay, we're going to start vlogging on here. We have this little button on the back. That's nice, it's easy to get to. I feel like this is good for beginners and just like a vlogging camera because it's simple and easy. Okay, I like this. We have a recording button on the screen. I don't know if you guys can see that. I like this little feature. My M50 does not have that. We have a recording button on the screen. So if you're like trying to fiddle around back here and find it, you can just, oh, 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 oh. So we're recording. This is just everything automatic straight out of the camera. I was not a fan of my M50 when I had all the automatic settings, but when I play around with it, I got things exactly how I wanted them. The sound sounds a lot better if you go to the manual sound, but this is all automatic sound, all automatic settings, and it's okay just like this, but I like to mess around with the color profiles, saturation, contrast, things like that, and get it exactly how I want it. So I'm going to put the settings that I use on my M50, and I'm also going to mess with the sound a little bit, and we'll see how that looks compared to this picture. So I'm gonna show you guys what I do to get my picture how I want it, and I don't color grade or anything afterwards. So here's the settings I use. I have it on the video setting, ready to take a video. I'm gonna go up here to this cube. I go over here to picture style. I like portrait the best personally. I like my strength, which is like the sharpness of the photo, up to six. 
and you just honestly can play around with this and get it how you want it. Contrast, I do negative one. Saturation, I do plus one. And color tone, I do minus one, which is a little bit more pinky red. So that's the color tones I like. I leave it on auto white balance, but I do go, let's see, and I go blue negative one. I just like a little bit more of like a blue cool tone. But other than that, I keep it on auto white balance. And my autofocus settings, I'm keeping that on face tracking. And my frames per second, I'm keeping on 30 HD. That's 1080p. You can film in 4K 24 frames a second with this. I just do 1080p. I don't want to worry about the huge file size of 4K. And now to change our sound settings. So for the sound settings, I'm going to go to the menu. Sound recording is on auto currently. So you get this little I guess bar I don't know what this is called but you can see when I'm talking sometimes it goes to red you do not want that because your audio will be destroyed if your audio goes up to the red on here when you're editing and when you upload it you're gonna have horrible distorted sounding audio every time it peaks right there and that's why the audio doesn't sound as good so I like to change it to manual right here and you're gonna turn it around and you're just gonna talk into it how you normally would if it's peaking, which it is right here, I'm gonna turn it down. So right here, I'm going to the recording level and it is definitely peaking, it is turning red. So I'm going to turn it down. Let's try that. Okay, so I'm just holding it normally right here and it is not peaking at all that I'm seeing. I'm gonna do this so you guys can see and I'm gonna hold it like this far away when I'm vlogging so you can see that it's staying around the green and it's not peaking at all. So that's gonna save your audio. It's better to have it a little bit lower because you can always turn it up in your editing software but if it is in the red and it's peaking audio is really not that great and it's very hard to listen to i have made that mistake so take it from me go into your audio settings and and just do the manual you will thank yourself now that i've got the sound how i want it and the picture style the same as my m50 we're going to try this again and see what the picture looks like okay so here are the settings since i messed around with it a little bit and i still might play around with it a little more this is just the settings that i have on my m50 this might be a tiny bit different. I do like it better now. Like the picture just looks a lot better. Let's see how the sound is. Does the sound sound better compared to this clip? But this is all automatic sound, all automatic settings, and it's okay. So what are we thinking sound wise? What are we thinking picture wise? Okay, so this is the Canon M200 and my Canon G7X side by side. This is the Canon M200 audio, and this is the Canon G7X Mark II audio. So yeah, that is what the picture between these two is looking like. What are we thinking? I feel like the M200 may be a, a tad bit more crisp. I think both these are amazing quality cameras and I really like both. The Canon M200 doesn't feel much heavier than the G7X, but I do have my G7X on my Manfrotto handheld tripod right now. So far, this is really comfortable to hold vlogging. It doesn't feel huge in my hand. Let me try the 22 millimeter lens, just holding it and see what that looks like. That does not come with the camera. I bought this separately and I think it's around $250 but I do like this lens. Let's see what it looks like for vlogging purposes since it is smaller. So this is me holding the Canon M200 just handheld the exact same way I was holding the kit lens on it. And this is the 22 millimeter lens. This one does not have image stabilization. This lens doesn't. So I'm interested to see how shaky this is. I feel like you could vlog with this. I have this on my tripod right now. So if I'm holding it, my arm fully 100% extended out here's what it looks like. This lens's quality is amazing. I love filming my sit down videos with this. It has a low f-stop so you can get like kind of that blurred background look. So I don't know if I'd use this for vlogging. It's a little bit tight of an angle and it would get kind of aggravating to hold your arm this far out and it would get a little heavy. But yeah, I just wanted to show you the different options because this lens is a lot smaller and more compact than this one. So it's kind of more like the size of the G7X or a point and shoot camera, but you don't have the option to zoom, which kind of sucks. If there were G7X cameras available right now, I probably would have just gotten another one of these because mine has been through the ringer. I started my YouTube with this. I've had it for seven years. It's failing on me a little bit, but 
we're gonna see how this M200 does. I'll be using this in some vlogs coming up and I'll try to put it in the description box what camera I film what vlog with so you'll be able to see. I am going to go ahead and wrap the video up here. Let me know what you think of the comparisons down below. So far I'm loving this camera. I love the size. I like that it's the size of my point and shoot but you can change the lens out because I already have these M mount lenses and I love them so much. So let me know if you have this camera and your thoughts. Um, Georgia Bortolotti, I think is how you say her last name. I'll link her channel down below. She's one of my new YouTube friends. She did a video unboxing this camera and she uses it. Her video quality has been so amazing ever since this camera and it's what like finally inspired me. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and buy this one because I can't get another G7X. So I'll link her channel and that video down below. I don't see a ton, a ton of videos on this camera. So hopefully this helps somebody if you're looking into buying a new camera because there are no freaking point and shoot cameras available. Maybe this one will be small enough and work for your needs. Thank you guys for watching my little Canon unboxing of my new vlog camera. Like this video if it helped you at all. Subscribe down below if you're not already. Let me know your thoughts on this camera down below. If you have it, you're wanting to get it, what you think. I will talk to you guys very soon.